This segment is being sponsored by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Join us in preserving and protecting Tennessee's wildlife. All right, guys, this segment's being sponsored by Taylor's Archery. Y'all can find them at 100 East Lauderdale Street over in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Give owner Tracy Taylor a call at 931-563-7706. Get down there and see him at Taylor's Archery. If you can't get him on the phone, he's probably tied up late. about 400 bones right yeah, now I mean, in the back he's, room. It's so, over. He's got it all. Uh, but be sure to tell uh, Tracy thank you for all they do for us here at the show. All right, guys, welcome back to the studio. Another great trip, Bob. I mean, you guys always <laughs> put them on the fish and uh, and get out there and get on them. Uh, loads of fun. I cannot express enough. If you guys want to do something a little different, if, you, if you've if grown up going to, to Florida your whole life or something, you're ready to do something different, I cannot tell you enough. Go check out the New Orleans area. And when you're down there, get in touch with Bob and Sandy Full Deck because the trips have just, we've had such yeah. a good time down there. You I mean, even in, you know, the slow times. Offshore, you know. Major yeah. League Offshore Hey, fishing. now, Major League Offshore Fish. Y'all have just gotten that started up going, so now just if y'all want to go out and catch a tuna, swordfish, something like that, I yeah, mean, y'all really got it going now, man. Lifetime. <laughs> Come and catch a swordfish. Well, all right, we're fixing to head to the Caney Fork River now. Ain't no swordfish in there, but there are, <laughs> but there are some big sturgeon in there. There's and, everybody uh, in there. Man, I'll tell you what, they, some people are catching a lot of sturgeon now underneath our dams especially, uh, and Caney Fork's one of those places. But we'll go head over there now. To show you a simple method, a good way you can go down there and catch you some slot sized trout. behind me we're down here at center hill dam today and we're going to be just be doing something real simple i'm going to show you all today and terry and mike are here with me and we're going to show you how we like to come down here and catch a few trout it's a great way to catch some to put in the cooler you're also going to catch a good one every once in a while so we're going to show you the type of rigs we're using very simple it is a hands-on type technique you want to make sure you're holding on to the rod when you're trout fishing uh, actually because it's such a light light bite so if you're not holding on to it when it gets a hold of it you'll never know he was there so we're going to get some rods rigged up here and get ready to go we're going to be using night crawlers and we're going to be putting just a little bit of trout bait on there which is a power bait one of the floating virtual power baits it's going to be racing our worms up off the bottom just a little bit a little piece of night crawler so we'll show you all what we're using we're going to get started here in just a minute and see if we can't catch a few trout for We got our first one on the line. We got a little rainbow. Brooke, yeah, Brooke. Stop that. All right, man. Pretty little fish. Number one. Number one. Number one. one. Down to the go. Terry coming up with another one here. And guys, I just want to emphasize, it is 12.30 in the middle of the day right now. It's warm. With these fish down in this cold water, they don't care they're eating. Here he comes. Now Terry, he's using a little different bait. He's using corn, and he's got it under a little float. Another good little fish. Easy. Dayton, I want you to see that's a that's a lip hook right there, buddy. <laughs> lip. Oh, we got him. I think I got him over the line. There we go. There's another one, folks. E there he is, man. A little bitty dude. Pretty little fish. Go ahead and let him go. Oh, my God. 
There. He's got a mess, but he's got a fish on the bottom of it. Pretty fish. Oh, great. Yeah, we're keeping that. Latin's getting released. <laughs> You better start down. You better start down the bank. Let's see. Nah, man, that's a trout. You might as well go down to the bottom. Nah, that's a good trout. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I can't even see what you're doing on this right here. Look. Hey, real man out of the water right there. Oh, let me see. Nah, you're not gonna lift that fish up. We knew we was gonna end up making one trip down here. pretty good until we had to make that long trip. How you like them chocos? Me too. I got a prayer. See that? He listened to his old boy Terry. Told him to come up there and work the fish. Put him on the spot. No, you need to go on down into the end of the climb. Okay. He's coming in here towards you. Yeah. Hurry up. Keep on going, buddy. I'm just trying to ease out there with this fish. I don't want to get up there, huh? Keep it going. That's a nice one there. That's about the size I call it. It's big and long right here. Oh, that's a good one. Turn the cord off. I don't know what it was. Oh my goodness. Always me. Recording already. Yeah. Y'all look down there real close. See how far Terry was casting. And he hung the one hook down there. Now I'm gonna back this camera out and you can see what the odds of that happening were. But my man Terry here, long slinging. How many yards is it? That's a long way. We got a sluice gate on. All right, guys, it's time for this week's tip of the week. It's been sponsored by our buddy Wes Stone over at Cryolite Realtors. Y'all can reach Wes at 615-289-9551 or stop in and see him there at 1432 West Main Street in Lebanon, Tennessee. Be sure to tell Wes thank you for all that he does for us here at the show. All right, welcome back to the studio. 
We've been talking a lot of fishing tonight, so I'm going to give you just a little tidbit here on the deer season. So this coming up weekend, you know, we said earlier, I said something about a food plot, and Dayton's exactly right. You don't have to have any kind of food plot or anything like that. If you have a small parcel of land, figure out where those deer are moving. A camera can be your best friend. But my point is, if you figure out where they're bedding, I'm an afternoon hunter right now anyway, nothing but afternoons for me. But if you figure out where they're bedding, going off your property, get set up as close as you can to that area. It's going to be the best shot you got. Persimmons, if you got some already mm -hmm. falling, they may or may not be ready for them. It's hard bit. to say. I've seen a bunch today, but I don't know about that. But guys, look for, for natural food, natural browse, and try to find that trailhead into your bedding, and that's going to be your best chance in this early season. We're going to get out of here and take another quick break. We'll be right back with some more Southern Woods and Waters.